Hello, 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 hello to you all. Welcome to another session here with us at Mathematics Resource Center. And today we'll be looking at the topic surface area and volume. All right, so this question is May 2017. So it's a CSEC question, May 2017. And we're going to go through this question as quick as possible with the best explanation possible. So the first thing in the question says the diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows a, shows a triangular prism, A, B, C, D, E, F. The cross section is the right angle triangle, A, B, C, where A, B equals 6 cm, B, C equals 10 cm. All right, so looking at this question now, the first thing that they ask us is to calculate the area of the triangle A, B, C. And that's the triangle here. So here's a triangle that we're asked to calculate the area of, right? A, B, C. And as we think about calculating the area of the triangle, the first thing that we need to write down is the formula for finding the area of the triangle. So we'll go ahead and we we'll say area for triangle is A equal half base times height. And remembering now that our base and our height meets at right angle, we're going to go ahead and try to find our base on our height. So these are the two lines. This is clear here. So this line here for this triangle ABC, these are the two lines that meet at right angle. And it's clear to us that this side is 6 centimeters, so we can call that the base. But what is this side? All right, so looking at this triangle now, I need to figure out what that side is. And this is, this is something that you should know by now, that this is a 6, six 8, 10 triangle, right? So that means that this side is 8 centimeters. How I know? This side is 6, this side is 10, so the next side is 8 centimeters, as long as it's a right angle triangle, right? So this is a 6, 8, 10 triangle. And the next um, thing that you can do to even remember um, to, to, to get the answer for this, if you don't remember that this is a 6, 8, 10 triangle, is for you to actually work out using Pythagoras theorem to work out the length of this side. All right. But for this, this question, I just want you to remember that given a situation like this in any other time that this is a 6 8 10 triangle and if this side is 6 this side is 10 then the next side as long as it's a right angle triangle the next side is 8 centimeters so we'll go ahead and we work out the area so a equal half times the base which is 6 times the height which is 8 22 1 26 3 so our area is 24 centimeter square, all right? And this question values two marks. And because it's two marks, you have no time for you to go and work out Pythagoras theorem. You have to be going at it, right? As fast as possible. So you need to know that that is a 6, 8, 10 triangle, all right? So the next part of the question, let's go down further now. Um, the next part of the question says, the length of the prism, calculate the length of the prism if the volume is 540 centimeter cube. So they're asked us to calculate the length here, right? So they want the length. And they told us that the volume is 540 centimeter cube. So volume equal 540 centimeter cube. And what we know is that when finding the volume of a prism, it is the area of the cross section, the area of the cross section, which is the triangle up here, yes, the triangle there, mm -hmm, times the length, good? So we know that the area of the triangle there is 24. So we know that this 24 times the length equals the volume, which we have as 540. 
all right so if we want to go ahead now and find the length this length here l right to find l what we're thinking of is what number can i multiply 24 by to get 540 and if you can't think about that number and it just can't pop into your head which it did pop into my head all i'm going to do is to say l therefore equal 540 divide by 24 and that gives me 22.5 centimeters all right so that's 22.5 centimeters for the length here 22.5 centimeters good so we have the length there to be 22.5 centimeters all right so we have two marks there two marks here so we have two mark uh four marks so far so let's go to the next question now and the next question says calculate the surface area of the prism so when you calculate the surface area now it's all about you looking at all the sides and finding the the area of all the sides and adding them up so let's just pop bits up to our question and to see what our diagrams look like so on our diagram we have two triangles and we've calculated the area of one triangle already and both the triangles are the same because it's a cross section all right so both of them are the same so we can come down here now and we're doing the surface area so we're doing surface area and we already know the area for two triangles for one triangle so we're going to go two times 24 centimeters square so that's the area for the two triangles all right so now we need to go back up and we need to find the area of the other parts so let's look now um here is eight centimeter so that means this line over here is also eight centimeter so let's look at the back line now if here is 22.5 and up here is also 22.5 centimeter so let's look at the back line now the area of the, the back right would be 22.5 times 8 right it's a rectangle so we're going to go ahead and it's 22 it's 22 22.5 times 8 good and we're going to add the next parts now so go back up to our diagram look our diagram again so the next part now this front part here right we are going to go ahead and add that part and that is going to be this line coming down here which is 10 times that line coming over here which is 22.5 so that is 10 times 22.5 so go ahead and we add that part so that is going to be in bracket 10 times 22.5 all right and we should have our units so we're going to write on our units at the end so we should have our units all right and plus we're going to go back to the last bit now and the last bit is the bottom so it is this part here or if you want to take it from this side it would be this side here which is a 6 times the 22.5 all right so that's how we find the area of that part oops all right so it is the 6 times the 22.5 all right so now that we have all the sides the two triangles the back the base and the front we're going to go ahead and calculate that all right so the 24 times 2 will give us 48 so this is 48 and we can put our units at the end all right and then we there now we have 22.5 times 8 and that is 180 right plus we have 22.5 times 10 which is 225 and then we have 22.5 times 6 and that's 135 let's add that all up quickly so we add the 135 plus 225 plus 180 plus 48 and that gives us 588 centimeters square okay so there you have the surface area of the prism all right so 
we have completed and this is a total of six marks so two marks here for the area of the triangle two marks there for the area of the for the volume of the pris um for working out the length of the prism using the volume and another two marks here for the surface area of the prism so that's a total of six marks all right and <clears throat> Hopefully when you're doing it, it doesn't take you as long as it did for me because you need to be working with your time, all right? So maybe because I'm explaining it takes a bit longer, but you need to be working with your time, all right? So that's basically it for this video on area, surface area and volume. Remember to like, subscribe and share so that other persons can benefit, all right, from these videos. Until next time, bye-bye.